Building a highly accurate and cheap weighing scale is quite a challenge and it takes hours to perfectly calibrate your load cell or strain gauge. Previously I used the same HX711 and load cell with the Arduino and explained the most basic things including how to calibrate the HX711 load cell wiring and its programming. Arduino Uno and ESP32 are completely different controller boards. ESP32 is much faster than the Arduino boards and this is the reason the calibration value that works with the Arduino won't work with the ESP32 controller board. For ESP32, we will need to repeat the same calibration procedure and we will also need to reduce the speed of the ESP32 which I will explain in the programming. Before I'm going to explain how to make such an efficient and low cost digital weighing scale using ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module, HX711 amplifier module, load cell or strain gauge, and I2C supported or LED display module. First, let me explain how I get started and I'm also going to share with you the final measured values and you will see how accurate is my weighing scale. This video is sponsored by Ultium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. In order to perfectly calibrate your HX711 and load cell, you should have some known weights. I started off with these four different items and measured their weights with standard electric weighing scale. The LiPo battery weighs 296 grams. The prop weighs 10 grams. The plastic casing weighs 26 grams and the camera weighs 140 grams. I used these items and calibrated my HX711 and load cell and it took me around one hour to find the best calibration factor value. Now let's measure their weights with my design digital weighing scale using ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. Let's start with the LiPo battery. It's simply amazing. It's pretty close to 296 grams and it's really not bad at all. Because I measured weight of the same LiPo battery with another scale and the third and fourth digit after the decimal point wasn't the same. If you measure the same weight with different electric scales, you will always see a difference in the third and fourth digit after the decimal point. But if you can spend one more hour on the calibration, you can further fine-tune your calibration factor value. You might have noticed the value sometimes changes to 296 grams. I'm going to add some more weight to check how much my measured value is drifting from the actual measured value. Only by adding an LDR, you can see the value is changed to 296 grams. To me, the LDR seems quite weightless, but my scale can detect its weight. So far, I'm quite happy with the value. Now, let's measure the weight of the plastic casing. My scale shows that it weighs 27 grams. One more thing that I would like to talk about is that the third digit is a rounded digit. So, I'm happy with this value. Now let's measure the weight of a propeller. It's 12 grams, which is also correct as per the data sheet value. 
It's a brand DJI Propeller and as per the data sheet, this prop is around 13 grams but not exactly 13 grams. So my measured value is accurate than that of the commercial scale. Again I must say, you can spend some time on fine tuning your calibration factor value. Now let's measure the weight of this camera. You can see it measures 141 grams which is again pretty close to the weight measured with a commercial level electric weighing scale. To further ensure if my ESP32 based weighing scale is good enough, I'm going to measure the weights of two different lighters individually and then I will place both the lighters at the same time and see if the total measured weight is equal to their combined weight. This one weighs 15 grams. This one weighs 12 grams. Now let's measure the combined weight. It's simply amazing. The combined weight is 27 grams. This means my ESP32 based weighing scale is just amazing. Now let's take a look at the circuit diagram and programming. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The 5 volt regulated power supply is used to power up the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module and all the other electronics. Don't forget to add these 470 microfarad decoupling capacitors with the input and output legs of the 7805 regulator. The red and black wires from the load cell are connected with the E plus and E minus pins of the HX711 amplifier module while the white and green wires of the load cell are connected with the A minus and A plus pins of the HX711 module. The ground and VCC pins of the HX711 module are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins of the ESP32 module. The DT and the SCK pins of the HX711 module are connected with the ESP32 pins 23 and 19. The SDA and SCL pins of the I2C supported or array display module are connected with the I2C pins of the ESP32 module which are IO pins 21 and 22 while the VCC and ground pins of the OLED display module are connected with the ESP32 3.3 volt and ground pins. This frame I salvaged from an old scale to which I screwed my 5 kg load cell and as you can see the arrow head is pointing in the downward direction. This is the same setup I used in my IoT based weighing scale using Arduino and ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. I'm going to use the same ESP32 development board which I have been using in different projects and as you can see I have already connected everything. I have added female headers so I can easily connect the jumper wires. Pay no attention to these relays just follow the connections which I explained in the circuit diagram. This code is the modified version of the code I used in my Arduino based wing scale project. This time I made a few changes. I added this header file for reducing the speed of the ESP32 module I added these header files for the OLED display module and this simple timer.h for creating a timer. You can download these libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. I defined pins to which the DT and SCK pins are connected. You can use a push button with pin 18 of the ESP32 module to reset the scale to zero value and I also defined some variables. The calibration factor which I was talking about is this value. You will need to change this value if your measured value differs from the actual measured values. 
For this, you will need some known weights. All these other instructions are used with the OLED display module, which I have already explained in my previous tutorials based on the OLED display module. Inside the setup function, I activated the serial communication and you will need to add this line of code to reduce the speed of ESP32 module. For more details, read my article. Inside the loop function, I activated the timer. This timer actually controls a function that prints data on the OLED display module. Rest of the code is exactly the same as used in the Arduino based weighing scale project. Get sent data function is a user defined function. It has no return type and does not take any arguments as the input. This is the function which is controlled by the timer and its purpose is to print weight value on the OLED display module after every one second. Of course, the time can be adjusted. So that's all about the programming. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.